What's good everybody? Welcome to Bowler's Paradise. My name is Ben. I'm a USBC Silver Certified Coach and today we are doing a deep dive comparison of five of our most popular hybrid asymmetric bowling balls. Before we get started, you're going to hit that subscribe button now. All right, let's go. I've long contested that hybrid asims are the best option to combat house shots. They tend to blend that wet dry pretty well and typically balance control with down lane pop without leaning too heavily on one side or the other. But hybrid is a very, very loose term. Unless you're in the R&D department or on the production floor, you probably don't know what's going into these covers. To go along with that, they tend to be all over the place in terms of out of box finish. The reason for this is because different hybrid ASIMs are meant to match up with different bowlers. Between the three major brands, there are currently 10 different hybrid asymmetrical balls in production, so I got out my top five and brought them to the same lane to see what the difference between them is. I threw them all in three different zones to see what each of them would give me on a typical house pattern. Also, yes, I already know, I'm not a robot and I don't hit the same spot every time. So starting in the furthest zone to the right, the reality check was the slowest transitioning of the three. The combination of the Disturbance Core and the S84 Beta Coverstock is the strongest pairing of our five, so this comes as no surprise. The second is the RST X3, and you can see just how much this piece loves to flip down lane. If you're a lower rev rate player, this is one that is much more fit to your game than mine. Third, we have the Storm Absolute, where you can see how clean it is and then how forward it rolls to the pocket. That is the definition of core dominance, where if you're a low axis rotation player, you'll love it. Fourth is the Ebonite Polaris Hybrid. It was stunning how much of a smoother reaction I got out of the Polaris, but it further illustrates to me how this piece is made for rev dominant players. And last, but certainly not least, we have the Black Widow 2.0 Hybrid. This piece is the cleanest of all five and generates the most down lane angle. It's harder for me to control in this part of the lane, but for the high axis tilt player, this piece would be deadly. Then I moved five and three inside and I repeated the cycle. Unsurprisingly, the reality check still gave me the most controlled look. It's definitely the most boring shape of the five, but it works so darn well when the lanes are hard. Then the X3 in the same spot looked the best out of the five. Skid, hook, and roll phases were very defined and continuation through the pins was just gorgeous. The heavy down lane roll of the Absolute pushed all 10 pins straight back into the pit, which was enabled by the mid lane transition caused by that very strong core. The Polaris Hybrid was smooth as silk off the spot, but still continued through the pins. Control like this in continuation is a great combination to beat the cliff of a house shot. Then the Widow Hybrid was actually just as good as the X3. Those two pieces provide a similar look between brands, with the Widow having a slight edge in generating down lane angle. Getting into fourth arrow, the reality check was so slow it actually got behind the head pin, which in the right setting can be the best hit to get all 10 to go down. The X3 was surprisingly lazy around the corner as it didn't quite pick up a roll, telling me I would actually have to move back right with this piece. The Absolute absolutely flew through the fronts and actually rolled out the only shot of the day to do so, which causes the deflection through the pins. The Polaris was the cleanest of the five, breezing through the fronts in the mid lane, but then packed the best punch through the pins. And the Widow was so clean that it went absolutely sideways off the spot, thankfully not leaving a 4-9. Then for fun, I had one of my high school two-handers give all five a roll. Now his axis point and rev rate are much higher than my own, but you still see more of what you expect between the five. The reality check being the earliest and slowest, the X3 being highly responsive to friction and actually running through the face, the Absolute picking up a super heavy roll and cruising right past the nine pin, the Polaris giving easy length and control while still carrying the corner, and of course, the Widow grabbing the down lane friction and running sideways off the spot. So even though each of these pieces fit in a similar category, the way they get to and through the pocket is much different. 
So depending on what your game is suited for or what you're trying to add to your arsenal, you have plenty of options on what you'd like to do with the 60 feet and 10 pins in front of you. And of course, each of these pieces and more can be found at bowlersparadise.com. Be sure to use the discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. Shout out to Striking Edge Pro Shop for the layout and drilling of each of these pieces, to Aiden for throwing some shots for us, and to Dale's Weston Lanes for letting us film this video. If you haven't yet, like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for more ball and product reviews. And as always, remember you guys, having the right hybrid ASIM in your hand, now that's a bowler's paradise. Peace.